I turned 18 a month ago. If you're 13 to 18 years old, then listen up. Or any age for that matter, it doesn't really matter, it's a free country. I've made many mistakes in my 18 years of existence. And today, I'm gonna tell you the most important life lesson that I've learned in life. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys, and I'm just gonna be transparent, and I'm not even gonna change like camera angles to try and keep your attention, because that's... I know I've talked about this story on the channel a few times already, but it was, it was such a pivotal moment in my life. Two years ago, I almost died. So funny story, I mean, not really funny story because I, I almost died, but um, story. <laughs> it was the day of a big performance that our school does once a year. I was practicing a comedy sketch with my friend when another friend from cooking class came up to us and offered us a cookie. Now that may not seem like the biggest deal, except it was. Because I'm like hella allergic to peanuts, like deadly allergic. And what ingredient did this cookie in particular have in it? Well, it had peanuts, specifically peanut oil. As soon as I ate the cookie, I immediately knew something was off. I told my friends, yo guys, I think I'm dying. Those were my words verbatim because I was very nonchalant about the whole situation. I didn't really comprehend death or, or living or, or anything really. I was, I was a pretty stupid kid. I mean, I still am, but I alerted my acquaintances. I told the nearest adults in the vicinity and they called for help. When the paramedics got there, my throat was already closing. Every minute, it got harder and harder to breathe. Because if you didn't know, anaphylactic people get hella swole. Not like buff swole, like swollen. Like our the inside starts to swell up and then we die. Um, so I quite literally only had like 30 minutes to live, if not less, because my throat was closing faster and faster. The ambulance people ended up giving me 6.6 .6 grams of adrenaline that day, which is like way over the speed limit. For comparison, an EpiPen has 300 micrograms, micrograms of adrenaline. I don't know the correlation, but I mean, it's a micro of a gram, so. Anyway, long story short, that was not short, that was way too long. Long story long, I survived. You know, I got back to school to perform my comedy sketch, which I cared way more about than almost losing my life. But honestly, I consider myself very lucky to have a near-death experience, to almost have died. Um, because without it, I would be a completely different person. Like, that experience opened up my eyes. I wasted so many years not doing anything. Like, playing video games... That, that was pretty much it. I vividly remember my dad asking me if I wanted to go cherry picking in the summer and earn a couple thousand dollar dues because it pays pretty well. But instead, I decided to play Fortnite every day, practically for six hours every day. Not saying video games are a bad thing, um, it, it just... It just was a bad thing for me. It was an escape. I spent hours staring at a screen, but was unhappy. And spent way too much money than I'd like to admit. I don't mind how you spend your time, but you should. You gotta think to yourself, is this actually how I want to be spending my life? I was so unhappy with my life, but did nothing to change it. Time is your most valuable asset. I learned that the hard way. Well, not really the hard way, just the deathly way. If I could turn back time and go back to where I was, five years ago, then I would in a heartbeat. I would go back and I would spend my life differently than how I did already. Did that make sense? I would use it in a way that actually benefited me. We learned how to manage money. At least we should have. I don't know if you have. My school definitely did not teach us how to, how to manage our money right. But we manage money better than we manage our time. Or maybe you don't manage both, like me. But why can't we manage our time just as well? The average screen time of a teenager is 8 hours and 39 minutes a day according to Google. What the fuck? That's like way too much guys. What are we doing on there? Oh, right. But you shouldn't need a near-death experience to get a reminder that your time here is limited. If there's anything I'm an advocate for, it's using your time wisely. And I'll be the first to admit that I don't use my time wisely. Only sometimes, if not all the time. But all your time shouldn't just be focused on the grind. You know, fucking money and making bitches. Wait, it shouldn't be all about work and a career and, you know, trying to be successful, whatever that means to you. But spending your time in ways that's fulfilling and enjoyable. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying to take every illicit stu sub substance, 
every illicit substance known to man and just get high because the feeling of getting high makes you happy. But whatever's meaningful to you, you know? Y you know? You know? If that means playing Minecraft with the boys, then go for it. You know, maybe just for like an hour or two, not six a day. I want to leave you with a quote from the GOAT himself, Casey, Casey Neistat. Um. So emphatic about all of this is that I think life is substantiated by whatever impact or whatever contribution you can make while you're alive. The finish line is the same for everyone. We're all ending up in the same place, but while we're here, what what contribution can you make? We're all ending up at the same place. Really brought me at my knees on the gym. If you watch literally any other film on this channel, every the, every, every film, every video has the, the moral of the video of every film on this channel is related to time. Did that sentence even makes sense. This film could be summed up in four words. Don't waste your time. Or spend your time wisely. <laughs> that is my message to you. Hey, um, welcome to the outro. I'm gonna go film all the b-roll for this film that you're watching right now. You should go brush your teeth and do what's meaningful to you. I pretty much laid out my whole, my, my whole life story. It was just video games. It's never too late to change your life. You know, Colonel Sanders made KFC when he was 60 or something. I don't, wait, let me fact check that real quick before someone in the comments be like, actually, Colonel Sanders made KFC when did, how do you spell Colonel Sanders Drake KFC? Or oh, colonel. Oops, my bad. Oh, Colonel Standard. C Colonel Standard. C Colonel Sanders started KFC when he was forty, according to Google. Back in nineteen thirty. That's crazy. Is he dead? Colonel. I'm getting distracted. Wait, is he dead? Oh, he died in nineteen eighty. Rest in peace. Um, I'm getting distracted. You go brush your teeth and do something meaningful, and I will see you. I'll see you. If I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. So you're still here. Why are you still here? Go away, man. What the heck?